Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Air Today Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going to go inside multiple days of training with Yumi Ando. He came in from Japan, and you're going to notice that I'm going to be really visually demonstrating. Yumi doesn't speak a lot of English. I don't speak Japanese. Thankfully, we had a translator app, but the one thing we do universally speak is the international language of throws technique. So here, you're going to see me put them into positions, work, and kind of take them through multiple days of training. Turn the left foot. Yumi makes a lot of common mistakes, so I think it's a pretty good example of it doesn't matter what language you speak or whatnot, we see the same sort of technical errors, and that's because the throw happens so quick. Everybody has the same challenge, but the physics is the same for everybody. We were really learning what Yumi was going to need to be doing over the course of the next that few days. Is pretty difficult. Yeah, throwing chain reaction. Whatever I do in the first pillar is going to dictate pillar two, three, four, five, six. That was nice. Yeah. Here we were on to day two and we were just kind of starting out. The challenge for somebody like Yumi or most throwers out there is when you're in a pattern, even though you can with your head understand that you need to be changing the pattern, you might understand what I'm coaching you to do. It just takes time to get your body to do it. And that's what we were kind of teaching here, really breaking things down. And the beginning of his chain reaction is what was yeah, the problem. Bad. Yes, that was better. Yes, you feel that? Good. Ah, ah. So one of the things you're going to notice with Yumi is that one of the things we call is our pillar one, two, right? And that's setting up our chain reaction and setting up maximum power. What Yumi does is he sets up his chain reaction a little incorrectly and then his pillar two setting up maximum power, that's off. So now pillar three applying speed, his transition and his power position are all compromised as a result. So one of the things we were trying to do is get him out of that habit. You're going to see that what a lot of throwers do, he kind of cuts around, cuts around and cuts short and he's he's kind of got too much up down motion in his throw and you of course want some but one of the things he was doing is it was too much and it was cutting him off so he has multiple stopping points in the throw remember if you have any stopping points in your throw you're just going to slow the implement down and you're not going to throw as far you need to be accelerating from start to finish and that's why he kind of drifts so he's got a lot of good core things that he's trying to do but his positions aren't allowing him to optimize his throw Okay, so here we are on to day three. You see his first throw, we took it with a heavy bar. So now we're gonna add some different things. And we've we've talked a lot about that. And you can see here, I kind of demo a, stop, uh, a step through. And so by kind of moving back and forth between heavy bars and the discus, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of be able to feel the throw a little different. And that's what we wanna do to help him more rapidly make changes in his throw. Kind of here still demoing what he's doing wrong and what I want him to do. So you go here, here. That's you. Um, Do you see the difference? You are going outside. Uh, okay. You can just see how much time we're putting into working an isolated position and pillar. We're just trying to get him to understand how critical that movement is. And, and that's what's gonna be really important for him. So you can see it's starting to slowly get better, but this is a long-term habit that's gonna take several weeks or if not months to change. Wow. Yeah, so you do this. <laughs> you push your knee over. You do this. You push here, that's... So now you can see, fast forward to in the last month, uh, Yumi and I have been coaching virtually, and so it's kind of just building on the things that he was doing when he was here, and so it's really visual so that he can apply the information. Closer, <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. That was good. So here you can see, again, I'm in the studio. We're just showing him, it's the same problem. He's got this habit, and that's what's tough for throwers. When you have these ingrained habits, changing that pattern can be a very time-consuming thing, but once it clicks, it'll click. Okay, I, feel, I found, the, I'm finding all the problems.
This is the same things that we were working on when he came out. He understands, but again, this is what a lot of throwers have to be patient about. We always talk about it's the timeline. Every thrower has a different timeline. Some people are gonna pick things up quicker, but this is where, again, some of those weight training issues really play a role in what the athlete's doing. So a lot of Yumi's movement plays into his strength. So he's got good strength, but we need some more specific strength. We have something in our system that's called a wind-up one, and that's gonna be designed to eliminate a lot of extra extra motion so that we can just really isolate that pillar one, two position, shorten it up and make it easier for him to feel and create a new pattern. Taking it back, virtual coaching. We're not gonna let COVID slow us down. You can get so much work done so many different ways. And the more ingrained a pattern is, the more challenging it is going to be to change it. So just be patient, give it time because the way throwing works is once that habit changes, everything clicks in and you'll take a big jump. And that's what's gonna be happening soon for Yumi. Hopefully you enjoyed today video give you a little insight into some throwing and kind of the process thanks so much and we'll see you on the next video hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video as you can see there's a lot that goes into what we do with the throwing chain reaction system if you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential click the link below and we will see you on the next video